all righty it's your boy zioxis and uh nikki has put out some new buffs for um some characters right so guillotine is getting buffed from what i know um and then they're just like fixing some other characters but from what we know uh guillotine is getting a buff right from what i've read so far so uh let me pull up guillotine actually let me pull up guillotine and we're gonna read what this new buff is see if she got better if she got worse but yeah they did adjust all her skills and uh, actually change some of the stuff here so uh let's take a look at her her kit here so greetings commander will uh will be going wow we will be undergoing balance adjustments for some nick Caves in the update on june 15th and some skills will be revised uh please refer below for detailed updates right so um obviously edit description terms for some characters um which is simple it just basically means uh it's going to just tell you a description of like some of the terms so let's say it says pierce or something it's going to tell you what pierce is now right um add description terms for some skills right so obviously product 12 skills action increases attack bridge skill one um acceleration right poly's burst or uh, skill one brave call rupee skill two mileage and then and skill one fairy dance right so now it's going to show you the terms of these moves here um Three, they fix an issue where sin skill one full stop is categorized and applied as a debuff instead of a buff, right? So there's that. Now, this is where they actually ended up fixing and buffing up guillotine, right? So adjusted guillotine skill values as followed. Lowered activation conditions of skill one um, from landing 100 normal attacks to only landing 30. So that's a big, big jump there, right? Because obviously... If it was 100 before for the one buff, now by doing it, third by being 30, by the time you get to 90 shots, you're going to be using it. It's going to go three times over than just getting it once from 100. So her first skill um, gave her crit rate and lowered HP. Um, effects of it just increased her crit rate by 9.28% for 10 seconds, but also increases her. Um, hp or decrease their hp so i guess it's not a stackable buff though so she's just always gonna have crit right now because what's her she's a mini gun um mini guns have okay i guess a machine gun yeah so now basically she's always going to have that crit rate buff right guaranteed um let me see for her skill two um Increased crit damage skill of skill 2 a malice from 14.46 percent to 14.96 so it's not a big big buff there uh but they just changed this right which is not that bad um and then also okay raise this uh, raise the increase of attack according to hp loss from 0 0.2 to 0 0.96 that's kind of a big jump so now the attack is going to be damn near it's going to go by damn near one percent for every hp loss right um so you could say after 30 bullets, she's always going to lose a big amount of HP, being 2%. Um, but she's always going to, what's it called? Get an attack buff. And when her HP ball is below 70%, you get this part. Um, so she might be hitting a lot harder now. I don't think these buffs are that big where it's like, now nah, she's like, like Soline level, like a Soline level buff, but these buffs are pretty nice, right? Making this from 100 to 30 means that you're always going to have that crit rate, which is good, right? 150 normal attacks is still a bit much, but it's a machine gun, so it's not going to be that bad, realistically. Um, but effects of cast when HP falls below 70%, which you're going to be able to do now even faster with her first skill, you're going to have your attack increased by 0.96% for every one HP loss. So that's quite big, right? That goes from 0. Point, you could say 0.20% to 0.96%. That's a big jump, right? That's more than times, literally what? Times four the damage. That's more than times four the attack buff, I want to say. So that's pretty big. This is quite huge right here. Um, very, very huge, actually. Um, so, yeah, that's that's nice, actually. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so 
fix the issue where taunts or a tract of Nick Hayes, uh cannot take effect. So yeah, they're just fixing the taunt. Taunt was bugged for a while now, so um, they're fixing it finally. And then fix an issue where the description of Rosanna's burst skill is unclear. Before attacker enemies, prioritize, prioritize attack enemies. Okay, so before it just said it only worked on attacker enemies but it didn't right because in pve it worked but it's going to it actually not doesn't only actually work on um attacker enemies it works on everybody but it's going to focus on attacker enemies so let's say for example my team is scarlet and modernia who are both attackers and then everybody else is a support if Scarlet and Modernia are dead, then the burst skill will work on the supporters, right? But if Scarlet and Modernia are there, it's going to prioritize attacking them first before going after anybody who is not an attacker, right? So that's um, pretty good. I mean, it always worked like that, I guess. Um, they just didn't make it clear in text. So there's that as well. Um, you know what's crazy? When games do this, they usually give compensation, right? Like, because that's like a typo mistake. I know Grand Cross, they had like a typo mistake. And they basically gave everybody back their currency that they spent on the banners, right? Because it's, it's somewhat of um, false promotion, if that makes sense. I don't know. I mean, it worked the exact same, but it was just worded wrong. But I don't know. Fix an issue where the additional damage uh, buff from Snow White skill 1 determination does not take effect when shooting decoys. Uh, Nick is using decoys, Ray and Delta. So I don't, okay, now I don't know who would have known this buff, but maybe you fix some, we figured out on PvP, I'm not sure. And then the last one is fix an issue where some skills that are uh, activated when attacks are launched are labeled as activated when hits are landed. Sin skill one, guilty skill one, guilty skill two, and Drake skill two. Um, it's an issue where some skills that are activated when attacks are launched are labeled as activated when the hits are landed. Okay, um, okay, okay, I get it. So basically, they just fixed it where because it's supposed to like go off when it's launched the moment it launches, but it would go off when it will like landed, which is supposed to go off before it lands, right? So that might be very big for all of these characters, especially Guilty. That's quite big. Um, but yeah, they did basically buff up Guillotine. Did they make her better? Obviously, these buffs make her a lot better, right? The skill 2, like, crit damage buff was kind of useless. I mean, it wasn't that big of a jump. 14.64% to 14.69%. That's like a bread type buff. It's very, very small. But this second part, right, where the attack goes up from the more HP you lose is quite big. From 0.2% to 0.96%, that's times 4 and a half let's say literally times four and a half more damage um at least more percentage to that buff right and then from 100 to 30 normal attacks is good right because 30 times three is 90 shots so you're gonna be going you're gonna be landing or activating her first skill three times over than what you were gonna be doing before which means you're always gonna have this crit rate your hp is always gonna get lowered like crazy now my thing about this character is she is a bit iffy though because it does say um when your hp falls below 70 percent you get this attack buff for every one percent hp loss so guillotine's not in like in a position where it's like oh she loses hp she gets a permanent buff no um i assume when your hp gets recovered you get like the the numbers go back how it was right so the problem with guillotine is that even with the healer it's not good because the, the lower her hp is the better she is right now a character that she's going to be very good with actually is blanc if you have blanc and noir that's going to be a great combo because blanc can keep um guillotine alive at one percent hp right and then chess she's gonna have a massive attack buff with the guaranteed crit rate increase already because 30 per 30 normal attacks is nothing right that's a lot um or it's very small for machine guns right um and then also the crit damage after you land um 150 normal attacks with the permanent crit rate buff it's going to be pretty nice right with somebody like um blanc literally but there's that now the thing is when her hp falls below 50 percent um she does over 2000 percent damage right 2400 and like what 74 or i guess 75 right literally so it's quite big on her burst skill she's gonna hit hard with the massive attack if you have blanc and you have give her indomitability and she literally has no hp with that attack buff from herself 
probably with possible other characters not to mention blanc puts the damage like down um the damage taken debuff on the enemies on top of this she's gonna hit very hard right but this is such a situational character because literally the ice like it's not like scarlet right the more hp she loses the stronger she gets but if you have a healer who's healing back the hp she gets weaker right because you want her to have less hp so i'm gonna obviously do a showcase for this character i already have her three star and she is in my synchro device um i will have a showcase for her when she does get the buff um because obviously i am going to showcase every character that gets a buff right and i don't want to just showcase the new character you guys got to see if these old characters are good or not or good or not with their buffs or not but uh yeah guillotine got a buff pretty nice and she is one of my favorite characters um i don't know if it's gonna be big enough where i'm actually gonna start using her but you guys let me know if you guys like guillotine's buff if you think it's gonna be all that great if it's not let me know what other characters you want i think guillotine was the character they said was getting buff right it was guillotine so that means the next buff should be for crow because in the dev notes they said guillotine and crow were getting a buff and they just buffed guillotine so crow is getting the buff next right so i'll see you guys in the next one let me know what you think and uh yeah i'm out peace